Hello everyone, because you're all obsessed with Japanese monster porn, I've created one minute DCS. This time I'm covering the central calculator 37 on the Vegan. Because all of the important systems send information to and receive information from the central computer, understanding its interface is a vital first step. This is the input-output switch. When switched to the left you may input data. When on the right it's in output mode. This is your data indicator. This is the mode selector knob, Giggity. The first mode, AKT POS, displays your current position. Notice the data indicator alternately displaying the current latitude and longitude. Raflola can be used to input the coordinates of takeoff, waypoint, and landing bases. Banagrans allows the input of runway headings, waypoint boundaries, and ILS channels. Wind Routermal deals with wind direction and strength, along with the position of the corners of reconnaissance squares. TID displays current time, time on target, and ingress speed. Tact allows you to enter target waypoints and pop-up waypoints along with some other important functions. IDNOR is for the readout of data for reconnaissance targets and memory addresses. Number pad. Zero, clear button and waypoint buttons. In my upcoming tutorials I'll be covering how each function integrates with the system as a whole. At this point it's important to remember that any system is only as good as the information you input. In an aircraft, entering incorrect information can lead to the system going all blue herb bull dyke and killing you. The central computer was very advanced for its day, however it doesn't really stand the test of time. When I entered one of my regular search queries, I couldn't even maintain a semi when the results came up on screen. On that flaccid note, I thank you very much for watching, please don't forget to dislike or tell me to go fuck myself below.